Hi there, this is Kyoko from Cotton and Cloud. This tutorial is about knot stitch, which is worked over three stitches, and is featured in the free pattern called Extra Warm Man Scar, which you can get directly from my blog. The pattern repeat for the knot stitch itself is multiple of three stitches plus one, but because I wanted to have a nice neat edge, um, I added one stitch, selvage stitches on either side, making the overall stitch repeat to be multiple three stitches. Before I show you how to work on the knot stitch, I wanted to mention uh, about the gaps that might happen uh, in between each knot. This um, happens depending on the kind of yarn that you use. So for example, if you use a nice soft squishy yarn, um, the, the effect is minimized. The second thing is that the, um, the knot stitch is worked over the wrong side of the row. Uh, and you might find it easier to work purl 3 together slightly loosely. And if this causes um, gaps between the knot stitches, then try to use a slightly smaller needles than actually stated in the pattern. And lastly, wet blocking the piece uh, won't completely remove the gaps, but can make it less obvious. In this example, I'm using a fairly rigid tweedy yarn, so you can see there are lots of gaps in between the stitches. OK, so here's how to do it. Slip the first stitch knitwise and work all the right side stitches in knit. You may want to work these knit stitches slightly loosely to make purl 3 together on the next row easier. If you work the right side stitches loosely, then make sure that your tension is consistent all the way through. You're now on the wrong side row and we're going to make the, the knot stitch. You can see that this first stitch has already been slipped onto the right needle and this selvage stitch creates a nice neat edges to the scarf. To make a knot, we're going to purl these three stitches together. Without taking it off the left needle, make a yarn over. Into the same three stitches, purl three together again. So purl three together, without taking it off from the left needle, yarn over and purl three together again. The total stitch number is unchanged. The knot stitches are worked over six rows, so the subsequent wrong side rows where you make the knot, um, basically you stagger the position of the purl three together. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.